All right, so starting out with the growth of the universe. Um, so we've seen Hubble's law before and our interpretation of Hubble's law when we first learned about it was that all galaxies are moving away from each other in space. This is not just true for, from our perspective, but it's true from the perspective of any other galaxy that you're in. Um, it's not strictly true within a single group, right? Like within our local group, like we're actually moving toward Andromeda, but on larger scales, all galaxy groups that are gravitationally bound to each other in their little clusters are moving away from each other. So that has a very specific um, implication, which is that if everything's moving away from each other now, then in the past, they would have been closer and closer together until at the very beginning time, they must have been right on top of each other. So this is the, um, the inspiration, I guess, for the Big Bang idea. Um, and the idea is that around 13.8 billion years ago, when the universe began, all matter and energy that currently exists anywhere within the entire universe is concentrated within a single point. Um, because all that stuff is smashed into such a small space, that means that it would have had to have an extreme temperature, extreme density. And so everything exploded and galaxies exploded from out. No, I'm just kidding. Um, the Big Bang is often considered to be an explosion into space, um, but that is a very poor way to think of it. And it's actually, um, the Big Bang is actually a bad term too, because nothing went bang. There was no explosion. Instead, um, the way that minute physics describes it, I think, is the everywhere stretch. So everything is in one place and then everywhere stretches. And in this idea, space itself starts at a single point. All the matter and, matter and energy are within that space but then space itself expands. And as this happens, then the matter and energy get farther and farther apart. And as galaxies are able to form, then they too continue to get farther and farther apart on the surface of our expanding space. So the everywhere stretch would be a better term than Big Bang, um, but Big Bang has a certain ring to it. So we keep it around. All right, so I will ask you, um, when we consider expansion, we can think about different like length scales. So which one of these do you think is the best description of the universe's expansion? But um, the idea is that the expansion, so all of space-time is expanding, um, but you only really see it on the scales of galaxies. So the best way to describe our expansion is that two widely separated galaxies would get farther away from each other, but stars within galaxies are not getting farther away from each other at this time. Neither are things within the solar system or you know, atoms within a given piece of um, interstellar gas. And um, the reason for this is maybe a little bit difficult, but the gravity within galaxies essentially holds them together. So whenever you have um, dense clumps of matter, those dense clumps, the gravity is enough to overcome expansion locally. And so expansion only affects the largest scales. So even though the whole universe is expanding, um, we are not going to be you know, much farther apart from any of the other stars in our galaxy, at least within the near term. I feel like I should also mention that the, um, the universe doesn't have a center that it's expanding away from which could be a false impression you could get from this particular cartoon image, right? Um, but for every observer in a given galaxy, all galaxies are getting farther away from you. And every single galaxy has that same point of view. And so there can't be any center to this expansion or any sort of edge to the universe. Um, and this is what has to be true in order to be consistent with our cosmological principle that everything is um, that basically the laws of physics apply evenly in space and in every direction.